Okay, troubleshooting the two-door true cooler. There's a it's an electronic controller with a dial. You drop that electronic control with the dial. In the front, you have four wires that go to compressor and vary components. In the back is a black and white probe. You disconnect that probe and put your meter at the end of the probe. And, and, and this thing was turned off for a couple of days and it was like at room temperature 68 to 70 degrees. At 68 and 70 degrees, the black and white probe should read about the same very close. Um, because they are the same uh, basically at uh, that temperature I mean at that ohms 124.6 and 128.3 is roughly around 68 degrees Fahrenheit so we ohmed out the probes and they pro and they ohmed out perfect let's say you want to you want to really check them thoroughly you can remove them put them in a glass of ice water and you should read 326 ohms or at 38 degrees 310 ohms higher the ohms lower the temperature lower the ohms obviously it's the opposite now you set the thing at you set the controller at five and you should, the cabinet should get about 34 degrees the thing is you have to put the thermometer up by the fan and you have to read the temperature the return temperature air now let's say we set this dial at five and uh, the probes check out fine, they ohm out fine, and um, so we're running the unit, and at 5, it doesn't cut out at 34 degrees, at, uh, return air up there, which we're at 37 right now, um, then you would be looking at a controller. Now let's say the controller it cuts out and everything's fine, but the product's still freezing. Then you're going to want to look at the gaskets on the door and make sure the door's shut right and make sure the door's shut every time. You also want to make sure there's no product keeping the door from shut. You also want to make sure the condenser's clean because dirt on the coil could change the pressures and cause the thing to run continuously, which would also cause ice up. Now, I remind you, these controllers are set up a little different than the original. They actually have a, a time where it cuts out and runs a minimum amount of time or a maximum amount of time to protect the press compressor. Also keep that in mind. So it looks like on this one, I already had it drop down and it didn't cut out. So on this particular unit, we're looking at a new control. So remember, if your probes match, you know, they check out and you can either own them out at room temperature or you can pull them out and put them in ice water. <clears throat> okay, and if they own out at 326 ohms, then they're good you know give or take a few because remember now this can be off two to three degrees either way warmer or cooler now these things aren't perfect so there you have it troubleshooting a two-door true cooler we tested our probes the probes tested out fine uh, so then we uh, set it on number five and at number five our cabinet should reach 34 degrees and shut off If it goes below that because this is freezing product if it goes below that then we need to change the controller if it goes above that We need to change the controller once the uh, probes check out so that's how you troubleshoot Okay, as you can see we have a white probe and a black probe and it's marked probe one and two pull those out and ohm them out okay and then if you put a thermometer up there set it on number five and the control doesn't cut out then you're looking at the control